All right, so everyone, today, which is the last part of this series, so we just finished up the design and we pushed the final project to repository. So I have tried to finish up the design from my end. So I'm going to walk you through on what I have actually done. So I think this is the final end product of the design. We have something like this. We have something like this. And we have the the footer and we have the offer page something the offer tab something like that so here is the complete design of the landing page so i will be making this repository public and sharing the url you can clone it to your system and actually work on the services they are about the coupons the contact page and add whatever you want to add then i want to also state that the site is not responsive I did not focus on responsive design, but I'll be making a small video on responsive designs where you can actually learn how to make your site responsive. But this particular one is not responsive. So that's what I want to say before I will just go ahead and walk you through on the design pattern. So in our last video tutorial, we stopped at, we have done, looked at the header from the main, we have looked at the wrapper, we have looked at the section, we have looked at the aside. So once we look at the offer section of the site before we go to the footer. So this is basically the bulk of the work where we have the majority of the work because all these are images on their own. So we use some CSS properties to rotate it to this particular way you are seeing it. So it's not really so, it's not really something that is easy per se but one beautiful thing is that the the figma design has all these things in them so if you click on these in the figma design you can see there is a transform rotate property so that's one major feature of the figma design everything you need is in the design just know how to use it so it's telling you that this image is being rotated minus 30 degrees so whenever you are adding the image ensure that you add this rotation to it and if i go back to my code where i added the first image where the first image was added you can't you can see that i use that rotate i think this is the second one this is, you can see the first one I used that transform rotate minus 30 degrees. If I comment on this, if I comment on this and go back to my output, and see I have something like this. This is what I have because I commented on the rotate. So I have something like this. So if I put back the rotate 30 degrees, and go back, you can see it is better than how it was before. So that is actually telling you that anything you need for your design is actually the Figma design. So I think that will be all for this. I basically have everything here. I'm going to push it to GitHub and I will make the code available for anybody to use. So I'll just do my Git add, Git commit done with the project. Git push origin purchase. Okay, some refs. So we'll just do git pull. So we'll just do git pull origin main we'll just pull from main pull from riches so after we have pulled we can now push so i think i'm having some conflicts i'm having some divergent branches need specified to reconcile them so if i go to my github account let me see what i have here this brand is one commit ahead of main so i think this is where the issue is from so, so I'll create a pull request. Create a pull request. Match pull requests. Confirm merge. 
so it has been merged and closed. So once I go back, click on riches. Okay, so now push again. So I think I will resolve this offline and make the final push. So I think that was all for our project. That's see everything looks like what we have in the design. So I'll be looking out for comments on Slack or any issue you have, you can DM me or book a one-on-one -on -one so that we can go over it if you have an issue. So this is basically how to convert the designs from our UI UA designers into HTML codes and make your site come to life. Thank you and I'll will be waiting for your questions.